Hi everyone, this is Manas, your friend and tutor. And this video is going to be very interesting as we are about to learn a method which is going to help us construct an ellipse. Okay, now the two important inputs that you need to know before construction are one is going to be the major axis and as far as this example is concerned, let's assume the major axis has 125 millimeters or 12.5 uh, centimeters and then we also need to know what the length of minor axis is going to be. Now let's take it as 75 millimeters. All right, so the first thing that I'll do is that I'll construct a rectangle. Okay, rectangle of how much? 125 by 75. Just do this and everything shall fall in place accordingly. Here we go. That's a rectangle. Dimensions are 125 and 75. You know that very well. Now in the next step, what we'll do is we'll divide this rectangle into four four quarters shall I say something like this center to center and then from here center to center that's it now we'll initially work on this particular quarter of the rectangle and what we'll essentially do is we'll divide this line and this line into four equal parts and to do that we need to draw a line first of all let me write AB and this is CD well as far as major axis is concerned it is represented by AB and minor axis is represented by CD Okay, now let me divide this line. Let's say this line is represented by OA, okay, um, into four equal parts. And to do that, I need to draw a line randomly of any length. And then you need to put up arcs. Let's say arcs of one centimeter radii. One, two, three, four. And after you have placed the fourth arc, you need to join this point with the end of the line, that is AO. So it ends at O. While doing so, Keep your mini drafter at this position, aligned along this line and then tighten the screw and then bring, bring it over to this side. Okay. Bring it over to the third point. I mean your mini drafter to the third point and then draw a line to the second point, draw a line to the first point, draw a line. You can clearly see that it has automatically got itself divided into four equal parts. Now for four equal parts, we did four arcs and if you want to go ahead and do five equal parts, well, you can put up five arcs. So number of parts is equal to number of arcs. That's the concept with which you can move forward. Well, guys, similarly, in the same manner, we need to divide this portion also into four equal parts. Well, how can that be achieved? So randomly, we need to draw a line again, something like this. And again, we need to pick up four arcs. Let's say again, one centimeter radii, one, two, three, and four. Fourth point has to be joined with this end, right? And then keep your drafters aligned along this line, tighten the screw, bring it over to this point, Draw line, absolutely parallel. So automatically it has got itself divided into four equal parts, one, two, three, and four, done. Now in the next step, what we'll try to do is, we'll join all these points, one dash, two dash, and three dash, with this C over here, okay? And then it's time to use your pencil and scale. Keep your scale aligned along D1, and draw a line, something like, something of this sort, which is going to, which is going to touch or intersect this line C1 dash somewhere here. Okay, start to start to extend the line from D, passing through one, which is going to end up somewhere along C1 dash, precisely here. Let me show you. Yeah, that's that's your point P1. Done. In the same manner, produce a line from D, which is going to pass through two, and which is going to intersect this C2 dash line somewhere here. Do the same stuff. Okay, this is going to give you P3. Now, we've almost got three points in one single quarter. How many quarters are there? There are four quarters, which are yet to be yet to be worked out. And the best possible way in which with which this problem can be approached is you can reflect these points about the horizontal axis so that all the points will be obtained along this quarter. Let me show you exactly what needs to be done. Okay, we can draw vertical lines from all these points. And now the stuff that you need to do is Keep one leg of your compass right over here. Let me mark a point right over here and other leg over here. And with that much amount as the radii. And then again, with this fellow as the center, you need to cut an arc. And this is the reflection of point P1. Let's you can write that as P1 dash. In the same manner, with this fellow as the center, and or shall I say, keep one leg of your compass here, other leg over here. And with that much amount as the radii. And again, with this one itself, this is not one rather, one is this. And with this point, I should say, with this point as the center, you need to cut an arc. That's going to give you the reflection of point P2. In the same manner, you can obtain a point 
for this P3 over here. That's it. Half the ellipse is done. The remaining half is yet to be prepared. <clears throat> well, how can that be accomplished? Now, I'll try to reflect these points over to this side. And for that, this is going to be the axis of reflection, right? So what I'll do is draw horizontal lines from P1, P2 and P3, something like this. Now it's going to be very interesting with this and this. Take this much as the radius and with this as the center cut an arc. And this is precisely the reflection of P3. Let's call this as P3 double dash. In the same manner, you again need to keep one leg of your compass here, other leg over here and with that much amount as the radii and with this fellow as the center, you need to cut an arc yet again. That's it. That's it. And reflect it below. And these are the points. And finally, when you join all these points in proper sequence, the curve that you're going to get is an ellipse. So that's oblong method of ellipse construction. Now, some of you guys may, might be wondering as to how this curve has been made. Well, you can draw it freehand. Okay. And if your drawing skills are not that good, what you can do is you can make use of a flexi curve or a flexible curve. You can purchase it or you can also go ahead and use a French curve to join all these points. So go ahead, solve this. Thank you for watching.